Hey guys, um, just a, like literally a few minutes ago I posted how to solve a 2x2, two two. it's my, this was solved in that exact video I made like 10 minutes ago, so yeah, back to my old classic YouTube streak of posting videos every single minute, alright, but I'm so desperate to tell you guys how to solve the 3x3. Three and I couldn't even wait a single day. I couldn't even wait an hour. <clears throat> Excuse my excitement. Uh, but anyway, um, let's get to the tutorial. If you haven't seen my 2x2 um, two two tutorial already, you should know the basics. Um, uh, the Q, you should think more of the Q to be more efficient. Um, and think of it better so you can be faster like instead of thinking like you gotta uh, make every color match you gotta put every color in the right place oriented correctly okay let's do this oh and by the way I completely recommend that she MS it's only $16 my, it's my main and it's very good right let's get into this so first what you want to start with is looking at around the cube and finding the white center. Unlike the 2x2, two two, this has a center piece, and the 2x2 two two doesn't, so that's a bit of a difference if you see my 2x2 two two video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to find is you're going to want to find a uh, you're gonna want to find a white piece on the bottom and what do you do we did now you want to take that white piece and you want to see that there will be a um, opposing color that is matched to it so you just want to move it until it matches up with its center piece and then you move it you want to move it all the way up to the top now you have one piece of the white cross done now, if you didn't know already, how you solve a Rubik's Cube, uh, well, in the CFOP method, method, aka layer by layer, is advanced. You solve the cross in just a few moves, which can be um, with any color besides white, white or not. Then you make a pair of edges and corners, and you get the first two layers along the middle layer done, the middle slice. And you do an algorithm for OLO, aka orientation of the last layer, and then an algorithm for PLL, aka permutation of the last layer. But if you're watching this video and you saw the title saying beginner method, then you will know that I'm te I'm not teaching you that. That would be way too complicated. I'm teaching you the beginner method. Which is where you solve the cross on the white cross preferably on the top. And then you turn the cube upside down, you insert all the corners, then you insert all the edges to get it to well done. And finally, um you get all the it's hard to explain OLL and PLL. I'm just gonna get into the tutorial now because I've already spent three minutes and a half um just having shiitake mushrooms come out of my mouth so let's get into this so once you got one piece done <gasps> excuse me once you got one piece down and all down and done and dusted uh you may notice that it it's rare for actually white pieces to be on the bottom um so the next case you can have is if there's one white piece that's flipped. And if that's the case, you wanna move the front side that way to the right or left. Then you wanna move it to where the piece is. Sorry about the bad lighting. You wanna move it up. And then you wanna move it back so you don't disturb anything. Once you've done that, you can You've done one piece. Next, you, uh, a quicker way, just a quicker way, if it's on the bottom and it's flipped, you can tell that if it's, if the white piece is not on the bottom, it's on the front, 
then you want to turn it and if the, it's down there like green is down there and green is here and what you can do is turn the that that the front like that and you can move it up to get one piece of the cross done again and then if you mess something up you can just move it back and yeah now for the last case if you have a piece on the side you could simply bring it down by putting it down moving it away moving the right side back up or the left side depending on where it is um, give me a second this is bad lighting there we go. And much better. So I'm just going to turn that light off real quick. Okay. Now we continue. Kenton. Now we can continue with the tutorial in better lighting. Okay, now you can turn the front side all the way up like I showed you in the beginning. And bam, you have the white cross done. Now you weren't able to follow along with that because of the white, because of the bad lighting or some other reason or if I'm just bad in general. Then you can either go and watch a different channel uh, or you can just this is completely okay because it's pretty easy to do intuitively. This is just one method that's extremely fast, kind of like the 2x2 two two first white soft. So now you want to turn the cube upside down. And you want to look for a white piece on the top. You should find one. And um, you want to, it, it should have two other colors besides white on it. Alright. There should be, if it does have those, the same two colors should be right next to each other like that. So what you can do is you can move it over so it's uh, on top of them and do these four moves. Turn the right, um, turn the right, turn the left side up, turn the U side this way, Turn the right side back down. Turn the U side the back. Now these moves I taught in the 2x2 two two video. I just re did a quick, quick recap on it if you haven't watched that already. The 2x2 two two video will be down in the description. And yeah. Um, if you want any more of that. Okay. Um, another case is where white, as the white thing is facing up instead of in the front. If that happens, you can simply still do it. It'll just take more four moves. So, not inserted, not inserted, inserted. So it'll still be just fine. And if it's in the front, that's the same kind of thing. But if you put it on the side, eh, then it'll work faster. Just a quick tip. All right, and for the final case, if it's a uh, corner is on the bottom, already on the bottom you can simply move it up move it away move, move it down move it back aka the four moves that I just taught you and now you can just continue on and I, uh, you got the white side done congratulations you solved the side actually correctly unlike a lot of other non-cubers now here comes a tricky part. More tricky parts coming in later. So to get an edge inserted into one part, um, something you're gonna wanna do is get this edge. You're gonna wanna look on the top side and you're gonna wanna find an edge piece that isn't yellow. Once you've found one, you wanna move the, the edge away and then you wanna do the four moves on the side that you moved it away from. Once that's done, you want to turn it. So this is on the right, if if you did that on the left. And you want to do the four moves again. And then it should be inserted. 
Now, if the edge you need is already ins is already inserted, there are two things you can do. The first thing is to take it take it out and reinsert the corner in a different way, or you can just insert a wrong edge that'll be in the wrong spot, but it will automatically push that piece out. So. Now you can just move it out of the way, do the same thing, blah 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 blah, da 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 da, and you've solved F2O. Congratulations, first two layers, bam, done. Now here comes the really tricky part. So, uh, now comes OLL and PLL. It, these are hard to show, but it is possible. So there are four cases you can get. One is the dot. Second one is the the little the the little the little L. Yeah, the the tiny L that would be right here. Uh, the other case you can get is um the uh, the two other cases you can get is um the line. <coughs> And finally, the cross, and, and when you have to cross, you do absolutely nothing, because that's cool. So, what you want to do is you want to put the dot on the top side. If you have the dot, and you want to do the four moves. You know, you want to bring it back up, and you should have this case if you did that. And this is the little L I was talking about. It doesn't matter if this corner is filled in or not. So then, you want to move it so it's in the top. Oftentimes a U2. And you want to turn the front again. Do the four moves again. Now you should have the line and you can just do the four moves one more time. Move it back up and congratulations, you got the cross. Next, uh, you want to find... You want to find... Um, uh, two correct edges. Um, if it's across from each other, then you can do this algorithm from anywhere. You want to move the, the side. You can move the right side up, move it across, move it down like the start of the first, like the start of the, um, and it's, the start is kind of like the four moves except not moving it back. And then you want to move it all the way to the side. And then you want to bring it up. Move it back. And you should have... Um, and once you've done an algorithm, and you ha if you had two across from each other, you will have this case. And if you didn't get... And, if you, and it's possible that you did get this already, but whatever. And now that you have that case... You can just do the algorithm again with one on the right and one on the back. And you can just go boom, 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 boom. And then you can just align everything correctly and yeah. Now, the rest is basically like the two by two thing. So, um, yeah. It's just, you want to find, um, want to find one correct corner. If there are none, you could do this from anywhere again. Move, do the 2x2 two two algorithm. If you didn't know it, it's just move the U side that way. Move the right side up, back, left side up, back, right side down, back, left side down. And if it's not done, you could just do it again. And it should be solved automatically. You don't get those cases, like extra cases in the 2x2. Two like and finally, you can just finish it off by reinserting every corner so it's correct. And then reinserting the other one by moving the bottom. And finally, just orient it correctly. And if you've done everything correctly, congratulations, you've just solved the Rubik's Cube. Alright, uh, I have honestly not much more to say. I gotta I really gotta go, so. I, normally, I do a quick outro, but, you know, comment, like, and subscribe, hit the bell, share, goodbye. Bye.